in a small village nestled between rolling hills and lush forest. There lived a woman named Adama. She was known for her kindness, her warm smile, and her three beautiful children, Ngozi, Chike, and Obi. Adama's children were the joy of her life, but they were also the subject of much gossip in the village. You see, Ngozi was born with a birthmark on her face. Chike had a limp from a childhood injury, and Obi was unusually small for his age. The villagers, lacking understanding and empathy, began to call them hurtful names. Ngozi was called Marked Fist. Chike was called Limping Boy. And Obi was called Tiny Tot. These names stung the children deeply and Adama could see the sadness in their eyes. Determined to lift her children's spirit, Adama decided to seek the wisdom of the village elder, Mama Uzoma. Mama Uzoma was known for her knowledge of the old ways and her gentle counsel. Adama visited Mama Uzoma and poured out her heart explaining how the names were causing her children pain. Mama Uzoma listened intensely, her wise eyes full of empathy. My dear Adama, Mama Uzuma said softly, words have power, but so does love. Teach your children to embrace who they are and to rise above the hurtful words of others. Let them know that they are beautiful just as they are. And that man nodded, feeling a glimmer of hope. She returned home and gathered her children around her. With love and patience, she spoke to them about the importance of self-love and resilience. From that day forward, Ngozi, Chiki and Obi held their heads high, refusing to let the villagers' words define them. They embraced their uniqueness and found strength in their mother's unwavering love. Over time, the villagers began to see the beauty and strength in Adama's children. They stopped using hurtful names and instead admired the courage and grace with which Ngozi, Chike and Obi carried themselves. And so, in the small village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, the tale of the woman, whose children were called names, became a story of resilience, love, and the power of embracing one's true self. <laughs>